God created these guardrails for everyone, and they are meant to help you develop habits that you can carry throughout your lifetime. If you see a guardrail or a commandment that you think, this probably doesn't apply to me, you're not looking at it correctly. This leads me to our next guardrail, guardrail number seven, do not commit adultery. This means that if you're married, you should keep your marriage promises to love, honor, cherish, and commit yourselves to that one person for the rest of your life. As a husband, I made a promise to be faithful to my wife. This means I love her above any other woman that may come into my life. Adultery is when you decide to break that promise and instead pursue someone outside of your marriage. When I heard this guardrail as a kid, I thought, <laughs> I don't have to worry about that until I'm married, but hold on. Remember, these guardrails apply to everyone. I am making a promise, a solemn vow to my wife to be faithful to her. This means that I've given my word to love her above anyone else. I stood before man and God and said, this is my wife and I will love her alone. Does God value us keeping our promises? Let's read Ecclesiastes 5.5. It's better not to promise anything than to promise something and not do it. Or Numbers 32. A man who makes a vow to the Lord or makes a pledge under oath must never break it. He must do exactly what he said he would do. We need to create a habit of keeping our promises so that we become more like God who always keeps his promises. If I promise that I'll be faithful to my wife, then I need to make sure I don't look at anything I shouldn't look at, nor hang out in places I shouldn't be. If you promise that you won't watch TV before you finish your homework, get away from the TV. If you promise that you'll finish your chores before you go at your friends, tell them that and then do it. Get in the habit of keeping your promises. Guardrail number seven, do not commit adultery. Keep your promises.